God bless you and shalom, beloved ones. I hope you're having a blessed week in the Lord. If you're not having a blessed week in the Lord, in other words, if it's a hard week for you, we're always blessed, right? But if it's a hard week for you, I just want to pray for you. Father God, I just pray right now for those that are listening that have had a hard week, that have been struggling. I just ask you to release strength to them right now, Father God. I pray that you would just release healing to their heart. Father, that you would calm their nerves. Father, that you'd just release supernatural peace and joy to them right now in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining me today on this weekly devotional that I call Seeds of Revelation. We're going to be looking today at the book of Ephesians, chapter number 6, verse number 12. Hear the word of God. Paul says here, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of darkness, against spiritual forces of wickedness. Do you know, beloved ones, the fight that we're in is invisible. But how many of us, our fight is against people that we're seeing. We're, we're always mad at somebody, some of us. We're mad at this person. We're mad at this person. We're mad at our employer. We're mad about this. But you know what? The real problem is how we're viewing things, how we're thinking about things, what we're agreeing with. The real problem, beloved, is in the realm of the mind. 99% of our battles are not flesh and blood battles. They're in the realm of the mind. You see, thoughts are things. And thoughts are manifestation of spirit. And so what we need to do is warfare in the realm of our thought life. And we need to recognize that we need to be active in our thought life. Too many of us are just passive about our thoughts. We're just allowing anything to, to captivate our thinking process. Whatever is going through our mind, we're just kind of like sitting there allowing it to happen without realizing that God has given us the tools to fight. And we need to practice a supernatural awareness in our minds and begin to reject those thoughts that are not of the Lord and break agreement with them, even speaking to them, saying, I reject you, Satan, get out of my head. Now join me next week, because I'm going to continue this monumental truth to learn how to warfare in the spirit. And by the way, beloved, God wants you to reach out, I believe, and share this with some of your friends. Join me next week. I love you. And until then, shalom.